Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing y'all my easiest face I do when I am lazy and don't know what I'm going to do for my makeup for the day for college. Either this or I won't wear makeup at all. I'm just like that. It's not just I will put mascara on and some lips gloss. No, it's I either do a face or I don't do a face whatsoever. And I don't know. I just feel like this look is just so easy to do. So, so if you guys like this video, just please give it a thumbs up. And hey, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you guys can see more of me. And let's just get to it. On to the video. <laughs> Okay, so I already did my eyebrows and now I'm going to prime my eyes and to prime my eyes I'm using the Wet n Wild Concealer and Light Ivory. So to blend all that in, I'm going in with a damp sponge and blending that out. Now to set that, I'm going in with the Tartlet and Bloom palette ah, and a brush and the color I'm going to use is Charmer and it is this white shade right here. And then I just pat. Okay, so now starting on the eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Tartlet and Bloom palette, and I'm using this MAC 224 SH brush. And I just bought this this other day, and it came in a box with three. And I think he said it was like the back to school brushes, and they're like really <laughs> tiny. But I love this brush. I've been using it all week. <laughs> and the color I'm going in is with Smarty Pants. And if you can't tell, I love it. There's a big hole in it right there. <laughs> so what I do, because this is the only color we're using, I look straight and I put my brush where my little fold is right here. And I put most of the pressure on the outside and then get lighter and lighter. And then I just do windshield wiper motions back and forth until it's blended. And when there's no additional product on the brush, I blend it upwards in circular motions. And I think I go into the color like two or three times depending on how dark I want the color. Now for my brow bone highlight, I'm going in with the ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadow in white on this little pointy brush. I just love this color guys, it's so pretty. I think I just like all white highlights. Uh, just something about it. White. I think gold looks too ashy on me. Who knows. And then I'll just blend it so it looks not so harsh. Okay, so now we're moving on to eyeliner. But sometimes I don't do eyeliner with this look. I'll just do a little tiny line and then I'll put some falsies on or I'll just like do mascara and then call it a day. Lately I have been in love with this eyeliner and it is the e.l.f. one and it's three bucks. It's the cheapest and I swear I love it more than the Maybelline Blackest Black like eye studio little pot. It's amazing. It just it's so black. So I'm going to do a winged eyeliner with this and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm done with my eyeliner, I'm going to crimp my eyelashes and the two mascaras I'm using is the Ulta Beauty Maximum Lashes from the Ulta Collection and from L'Oreal, the Voluminous Lash Paradise. These two are like my favorite. Okay, so now that we are done with the eyes, we're moving to the face and I'm just going to moisturize my face with the, I always forget how to say it, but it's called like Bosha, the Saki Balm. Yeah, that's what I use. I love it. My face. I like to always let it sit and get sticky and tacky. So like I'll let that sit for a couple of minutes and then we'll move on. So after I let that moisturizer sit for a little while, get sticky and tacky, I'm going in with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And I'm just putting this where I am the most, most oiliest, which is right here, my nose, my chin and right here in the center of my forehead. So now for foundation, we're going in with two foundations and it is the IT CC Cosmetics Cream and it's just the regular one. I have it in the shade light and then I'm going in with my favorite Makeup Forever HD stick and I'm in the shade 117. So I just draw some lines on my 
face, nose, chin, forehead. And then I put two clumps of the CC cream on the back of my hand and I blend it in with a beauty blender. But a better, I don't have it with me. I left it at my apartment, left it at my apartment, but it's the NYX brush and it's like, how much was it? It was like, I wanna say it was like five bucks and it's like my favorite. I just always forget it every time I come home. But if you're looking for a cheap foundation brush, I suggest the NYX. I always, <laughs> always forget the second letter. So now for concealer, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm in the shade Fair. And then I'll just do two dots, a line, my little weird. I don't know what that is. And then a line on my chin. Then I'll just blend it in with the same damp beauty blender I've been using for the, my whole face. <laughs> And then just to set my whole entire face, I'm going with the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder on this same sponge. And then I'll just pat it heavily under my eyes and just the places I put concealer. And then like for the rest of my face, I'll just lightly dab it just to make the foundation stay more. So after I let that just sit for a little while, I'll just brush it off very lightly with a big fluffy brush. I just found that I like this better than setting my whole entire face with two different setting powders. It's just easier. Makes time go faster. But if I ever need just a little bit more coverage, then I'll just go in with my Kat Von D translucent powder and then just put that in the places where I need the extra coverage. So the only eyeshadow color we're going to use under our eye is the one we used for our eyelid, which is Smarty Pants. So I'm just going to grab any full fluffy brush and then just rub it on my bottom line. And sometimes I like it messy. Sometimes I like it really sharp. Sometimes I'll put like an extra color like in the outer side. But mainly this is what I do. I do messy on days when I'm rushing. And then for our inner corner, I'm going in with the uh, ColourPop one we used for our brow bone. And that will be it for the eyes besides mascara. <laughs> Okay, so I just did my bottom mascara, and the only one I used was the Ulta, yeah, the Ulta one, and um, sometimes if I'm feeling a little extra, I'll put another one, but mainly I just like to use one on um, my bottom, because they get a little crazy sometimes, because they're just so long, my bottom ones are, so I just stick with one mascara. Okay, so now for bronzer, I'm going in with the Cheek Parade, and I'm just going to mix Hula and Hula Light. And the brush I'm going to be using is the MAC 135. And I just got this on Monday or Tuesday, I want to say. And I have no, no, I'm lying. No, nope, Monday or Tuesday. And um, I have not put it down. It is my favorite contour brush. I just love it. It's just so easy to use oh I was so upset <laughs> when I went to buy it because it was the last one and me I'm just I always have to touch it and well I was like oh there's like all this dust on it so I was like wiping it off well then every time I was touching it little hairs were flying everywhere and I was like oh, it's just old like so like this guy came up to me who worked there and he was like are you okay I was like um I really wanted this brush but it's like falling apart and he was like are you serious I was like, well, do you have any more? And he's like, well, no, um, we haven't got any more shipments in. And he's like, I'll just call our other one across the mall and um, see if they have any. Well, he called, they had one left, and he went and got it for me. And thank God he did because it is my favorite brush. <laughs> and if it wasn't there, I probably wouldn't have gone back for it. <laughs> I'm just like that. If it's not there, I won't ever go back for it. 
And then I just brush the contour on the bottom of my face just to make me look like I have more sun than I know I don't. I'm just going, wait, do I have my other blush with me? I'll just go in with my Morphe E4 brush and then I'm just going to go in with Dandelion right here. I was so upset when I got this palette because this one used to have gold on the flowers and I touched it and the gold flaked off so fast and I was like, are you serious? So I went back to the store the next day. I was like, is it supposed to do this? They're like, yeah, the gold is just very light and I was like, whatever. I really did like the gold. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then we'll move to highlight and lips. So now for highlight, I'm going in with MAC Nylon because it's just my favorite. And the MAC Nylon looks like this if anybody was wondering. And I wish it was bigger because I swear I'd buy it. <laughs> So I'm taking it on my Anastasia, it's A23, yeah, A23 brush, and oh, guys, this color. Whew, I've already bought like, I'm sorry, bought, I've gone through like three of these already. So now we're moving to lips, and if I'm dressing down for school and I am in shorts, because I know I'm going to go work out, like after one of my classes with one of my friends, I will just do a simple lip. I'll just take off on my foundation and I'll go in with my Sephora Coconut Water Lip Balm and it makes my lips look just so glossy. It keeps them hydrated all day and I love it because I only apply it like twice because it stays on literally all day. But if I oh, but if I am dressing up for school, I will normally put on a matte lip because my hair is long, it blows everywhere, it's stringy, and if I wear gloss it attacks my lips and stays on and it's just it's gross so I normally go for a matte unless my hair is up and then I'll go for glossy but yeah normally it's matte but these are the two colors I always go back to and it's my Too Faced Melted Matte in Queen Bee and then my MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Lady Be Good and the one I'm going to use for this one is my MAC. <laughs> okay so now that is the lip and then I'm just going to set my face I had to go buy a new one I was running out with the Urban Decay <laughs> the Urban Decay All Nighting all nighter setting spray it's my favorite I feel like it makes my makeup stay on longer so <laughs> okay so now that's it for the look I hope you guys liked it it was really simple it, I feel like it's so easy to do it's like the fastest full face makeup look I know how to do on me um, so if you guys want to see more videos like this please just give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys like this video and I'll see y'all in my next video Bye.